sea of burnt orange for 50% of his cotton bowl. Ewers. Easy pitch and catch to Whittington. And he's inside the 30 yard line. Jordan Whittington. Artesian opting to keep 12 personnel in the field as opposed to going to his big body that involves a couple of 300 pounders from the defensive side. Robinson! Flag is down as he crosses the goal line. Having a 90 yard drive. Nice run there from Bijan Robinson. It was a good initial. This is Farouk. And a good gainer out to the 48 yard line for Jalil Farouk. Brayden Willis starting tight end. Great looking athlete taking the direct snap. Farouk again turns the corner. And again, that'll move the chains for the Sooners. Schmidt is 5 of 6 on the season. It is a fake as they get it to the kicker. And he goes ahead before he's tackled by Overshawn right at that line of game. And it is going to be a first down Sooners. EJU. Will Dracovic tonight, Clemson, D.C., 7.30 on ABC. Quinn Ewers extends the play and a reaching effort by Whittington to dive and secure it for Horn's first down. Ewers turns around, goes back to Johnson. Well-designed play. Roshan ripping it up. Big gainer, jump play, Horn's. Stephen Robinson goes for 13 yards. First and goals. The ball's on the 10-yard line. Ewers to the end zone. Touchdown. Xavier Worthy. And you're going to see the motion like this, and watch how that affects the defender. As a result, you just have the post right in behind it. Easy pitch and catch. Starting from the 20, their average field position so far today is their own 15, and they have two long touchdown drives. Ewers. It looks so easy for him right now to Jordan Whittington. Ewers trying to find an option. Third and six, and Bijan Robinson twisting and turning and making that catch on third down. Got a big four down territory for Texas. Robinson untouched until that point, gliding for a first down. This is Robinson on second and six. Keelan Robinson will take it in for another Longhorns touchdown. Keelan Robinson will get the love, but Jordan Whittington should get the credit. Number four right there at the top of your screen, blocking. You have to put a drive together to get some points before half. This is Farouk, and look at him turn the corner. Jalil Farouk, past midfield, still going. Be prepared to bounce it, though, against those big bodies up front. Bray on third and two. There it is. And there it is. And Bray. All the way down near the 20 yard line as Jade Barron had to ride him to the ground. And now he has them knocking on the door. And I like this. Don't go away from it if you're Jeff Levy. And they don't. Gray's going to pop pass it and it's intercepted. Barron's got it. They tried to change it up. Eric Gray took a step to the line, went with the pop pass, and Jade here in the first half of this football game. See if the Sooners defense can get a stop on third and 11. Quinn Ewers pressured. He's going to tuck, run, try to get there, and he does. And in fact, dives ahead all the way to the 46. Down to the 24-yard line with 24 seconds remaining. Ewers, look at this. J.T. Sanders. Every which way, it is burned. Orange. It is Texas Longhorns. Ryan, respectively, Quinn actually reached out to JT via Instagram, and the two would just meet up. They'd work out. So they had a relationship before Ewers decided to transfer back to UT. Thank goodness. But right now, Oklahoma needs to find anything, absolutely anything they can. And it's an interception. It is Deshaun Jameson. 
who sat back and just got on the jackpot end of that bevel rainbow. And comes back home. You got a glimpse of Ewers against Alabama. You said, oh my, what do they have here? And then you see what he has done as Bijan Robinson will just add to his total here to get his triple zeros on the clock. They now drop back into coverage. Ewers on third and nine was forced back. And this ball is intercepted. He tried to float it out, but CJ Colden with the interception. Was asked to transition to running back, and the rest is history. Second and seven, Ewers easily goes to Whittington for another first down, and they're inside the 30. Watching the effort on this drive in particular will be very valuable to see who's with you and who's against you down the road. That's a very good point. Just simply effort at this point. When you see a score like this, when you've been dealing with the past two weeks alone. Plenty still to prove for the Oklahoma players on the field right now. Bijan Robinson. He's going to walk it right in. He could downshift and bring it in. He's got 128 yards and two touchdowns today. Just absolutely stealing. Well secured there on the end of the line of scrimmage. I, I really don't know if there's a deeper league in college football. That's really what you want. Is you want the middle and the bottom to be that good. To so the end zone and add to the day for Quinn Ewers and JT Sanders. 18-yard touchdown. For the big body Sanders, when you have a dynamic wide receiver, you can't leave him in one-on-one. -on -one. And here we're coming to the end of the third, and it's a third and 12, and it's a sack. As Byron Murphy sacks Davis Bevel. That's their second today. It's difficult when you don't really know who you are to play good quality defense. Brooks again, and look at him go! And it's another Texas touchdown, Jonathan Brooks! Let's continue to pound them on the ground, and Oklahoma's defense wants none of it. It's all Longhorns. Some of the other games coming up later this afternoon. Ohio State and Michigan State right here on ABC. It's a sack by Keandre Coburn. It's a Jet Bush walk off with the trainers. Third down and 12. Bevel. He's going to be sacked again. Third, fourth time that's happened. Pinkley with the sack. Sark does it big time in Red River. 49 zip. Texas is 49 points the most in Red River showdown history. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.